the other night in NBA basketball, we got Luka Doncic turning into Hulk Hogan, Hogan, ladies and gentlemen. He's doing everything on the basketball court. He's even a part-time wrestler. I like seeing stuff like this. We've seen Luka Doncic be happy. I want to see the competitive Luka Doncic. I want to see him frustrated. If this guy is going to be the next NBA superstar, a part of being a superstar is storylines. Like, And I need to know with Luka, he cares about winning. This dude cares about winning. By the way, a little side note here. Dallas was taking on the Clippers, and Dennis Smith Jr. did return to the Dallas Mavericks team. You know, he's, he's going through it right now. He's not happy with his position on that Mavericks roster. He had sit out the last few games. They blamed it on injury. He wasn't injured. He was frustrated with Rick Carlisle and company. But Dennis Smith Jr. did return to action as the Dallas Mavericks got a huge dub. And I think it frustrated Luka Doncic to the point where he just ripped his jersey. He's so tired of playing with Dennis Smith Jr. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So let's get into it here. Let's, we're, we're at the towards the end of the half. Dennis Smith Jr. horses up a three. It rolls in. Dallas takes a, a two-point lead here. Eight seconds to go. After the miss, Jordan grabs the rebound. Luka gets it with an opportunity to give his team a little bit of momentum going into the half. It's Luka on one foot. Air ball. He was 0 for 8 from the three-point line in the game, and he showed his frustration visibly. By the way, still had 17-7. And um, eight, I believe, in the game, 17, seven, and six. But uh, you could tell that miss frustrated him. As a matter of fact, after the game, he was like, I was just pissed. I didn't play good. I was frustrated at the time. Look, man, Dennis Smith Jr. pretty much carried his weight. Happy to have him back. I'm sure it's Luke. He's always spoke highly of, of, of Dennis Smith Jr. That, they had to go get another judge for Luka, though, because he ripped that bad boy in half. He was so pissed that he couldn't make a three-pointer to save his life. And Luka's starting this, you know, he's having some season struggles, right? Some mid-season struggles. That happens to all players, especially young players. You get used to figuring out how to play and get through bad stretches and make those bad stresses a little bit less, right? It's just like life. Everybody has bad stretches in life. You just kind of cope with it and move on. He's young. He'll get it. But, uh, yeah, I like this competitive edge for Luka. I didn't think it was a makeable shot. I don't know why he's so mad about missing that one. Maybe the other seven that he missed but that's the one that made you rip your jersey it was the end of the half you're on one foot two defenders in your face jeez luca you kind of been a little bit hard on yourself right uh it is what it is again dallas mavericks did win this game but they not only wanted the game they had to switch luca's jersey out of the half i'm sure they trade that in for a win any day um as luca shows his frustration in dennis smith jr's return luca shows his frustration by ripping his jersey into smithereens aka luca hulk hogan is in full effect in dallas i'm out i came from nothing but i want everything god has for me i interview celebrities i talk sports i still represent the culture hey, the kids, they you are now tuned in tuned in yo we locked in right now mr telefair mr telefair mr telefair mr telefair shout out to mr telefair watching mr telefair tv mr telefair tv here with the triple B's, you can't do nothing but win.